All right, Aries, sun, moon, rising. Let's see what's going on here for your general for the week's worth of energy, past, present, and future. Hope y'all are doing well. Cross watchers are welcome. Take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right, new things. Wow, we've been getting a lot of notifications lately, so there's probably some influx of messaging going on, okay? News from different people. And you had a lot of things started already from spirit today. First up, remember. So there's some sort of reminder happening, something you're, you're going to remember. Uh, you might have to edit a situation. You also have bottle. Maybe things have been bottled up. Historian, maybe for a long time, and it's become a liability and well-documented and examined. Uh, could be something that's been professionally examined as well. Sometimes when I see liability with those two word, one of those two words or words similar to it, kind of tells me maybe something's being investigated, right? Regarding some something that would be liable, right? Like somebody's responsible for it, right? May cost a lot. There may be some cost to the situation, either time, money, resources, energy, right? Layla might be significant. And then garden popped up. So obviously something is growing. Um, flourishing something is coming to fruition for you okay of the houses that popped up you have the first house fifth house tenth house and twelfth house either your direct energy or the situation in general or the people identifying okay you also have mercury which is communication you have Jupiter which is essentially taking charge urban maybe busy okay garden urban interesting okay then you also have Saturn, and Saturn is also about like kind of things coming to fruition. It's also about karma and justice as well. Um, there's a lot of things Saturn's about as well, and uh, that would be Pluto. So there's going to be something transformative about the situation, perhaps something coming to an end um, abruptly. Okay, Pluto energy is pretty strong energy. Okay. Pluto is also the disgraced planet, <laughs> so that could mean something to somebody, all right? There may be some sort of disgrace in the situation. Maybe something's been writing, urban writing, garden urban writing. Hmm, okay. Maybe something's been documented that way, okay? Shape, things shaping up. All right, hold on, Spirit, let's get caught up. So from your pre-poll, your partial pre-poll, you have, from the Work Your Light Oracle, soul family for your overall. Call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone, okay? So you do have support. Your soul family can be any strong, high-level connection, as well as your, your soul team, your spirit team, your spirit um, army, whatever. You know, so if you call in, like, any ascended masters or Jesus or God or whoever it is, right, for help. And it looks like you're going to need it with chaos on the line, okay? What else for it? <laughs> Sentence. Ooh, okay. Let's see how this unfolds. Okay. Benjamin might be significant. Maybe you might need a lot of Benjamins, <laughs> like as in money. Okay. So from your unshakable inner peace, you have card number 31 that breaks down to a four. Mushroom, interesting. Is that the vegetable? The fungi? Could it refer to drugs? Sentence and mushroom, interesting. Okay, who's messing around with that stuff? All right. Everyone is on their own journey. How can you focus more on your own path, okay? So whatever chaos is going around you, try to refocus back to what you need to be doing, okay? All right, let's see what's going on here. This seems seems intense already. Still intense. Okay. You could be dealing with an older woman, okay? Or you could be this older woman. You have cobweb protection from negative forces beyond your control, okay? White. White is an all-purpose cleansing color, too, um, as well as protection, White might be significant to you at this time. Now, of course, any numbers or synchronicities, colors that you see that pop out, um, 
uh, may be significant right now as, as signs or synchronicities as well, identifiers, okay? White is also a color of protection and new beginnings and truth, okay? So there may be. You know, also dealing with a younger woman, okay? So take it how it resonates. You could be dealing with both, or you could be one of these, and they could be the other, right? You also have, well, I'm just seeing if that fits on screen a little bit better. Family wishes. So this definitely has something to do with family, okay? From the moonology, you have look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, okay? From your stargazing, a lot came out actually. Hold on, let me make it less of a mess for you. You have trine, brings luck, flow, talents, indulges, effortlessness, harmony, eases, lazy energies, no friction, and benefits. So whatever the situation, this shocking turn of events, whatever this is, may actually be a benefit for you. I'm getting a sense that you'll be able to clear your energy too and really kind of start from scratch, right? You are protected. You do have a team calling your soul family, all right? You also have conjunction, empowerment, activates, intensifies, joining forces, focus, concentration, strengthens, prominent, prominence, and authorizes, okay? So there may be um, some sort of soul family connection here that's going to be able to assist you through this, okay, this process. You could also be dealing with a cancer, dealing with home, family. You do have family here, moody, introverted, emotional, lunar. Defensive, nurturing, intuitive, insecure, birth, and receptive. So you could be dealing with a Sag or Cancer at this time. You also have Jupiter again. Luck, abundance, growth, success, fulfillment, happiness, travel, chance, foreign affairs, optimism, and exploration. That could also be a placement for them as well in Sagittarius or Cancer, not just Sun, Moon, or Rising. Be content or have content, right? Maybe you might need to kind of document things because it did say documentary, right? Your guides are helping you. All is well, okay? I'm going to put that there. From the Black Moon Astrology to identify, you also have sixth house, okay? Number 30, routine. So this is something in your everyday routine that you could recognize as. 49, Jupiter returns benefits. 49 breaks down to a 13, also a four. Lots of fours going on here, okay? Fours are all about protection, foundation, home, and to let you know that you do have a system, assistance. You are protected, okay? Ascended masters are guiding. And something from your south node, okay? All right, south node could also be a placement that identifies. 42 breaks down to a six, <laughs> So maybe this, I'm seeing the surface being scratched here. Like this is only the beginning, right? Like, but it's going to end up extremely well for you. All right. You also have animals. So maybe animals might be significant in this situation. This could also be just signs and synchronicities for you, but this could also be a personal identifier. Maybe any of these folks in this equation have animals like pets. Okay. Um, I'm seeing the big kitty here, the jaguar, so it could be a cat. You know, I'm definitely seeing that. Um, this could also indicate an animal empath in your life as well, or you could be this animal empath, okay? I'm going to stick that right there. Can you see that okay? All right, that's good. Now, from Izzy's deck, <laughs> lots came out initially, okay? The first two that came out is no one falls in love faster than an inmate. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Okay, we'll do that. All right. Along with sit still. So I'm thinking this could be a couple of things. Um, could be somebody actually being incarcerated and after seeing the sentence pop up, I'm like, yeah, maybe that's it. Okay. But it also could just be a time of reflection, right? Of going within, right? And taking a step back from chaos too. So I clarified cut and clear. So it could be both scenarios still, right? Cut and Clear talks about basically clearing your energy, right? Like that white color that just popped up, having to do that cleansing, okay? Within the next 24 hours too, all right? Next card that came up, something's going to happen this year, all right? That's going to change the game, all right? And next card that came out, Ambulance, so something that's going to be an emergency. Of course, I had to clarify that, okay? 
this is going to change the game. Like something's going to happen quick, fast, and everything, right? Clarified by old Tupi. So this could be an accident. Um, this could just be an emergency with an older woman, okay? Clarified again by Sagittarius. So I'm going to put Sag up there for you. So you could also be dealing with, again, Sagittarius. Sagittarius and Cancer are big <laughs> in this situation for sure, okay? I'm going to go ahead and roll the other dice as well. These are just the Zodiac dice, the last three. Any other signs that Aries is dealing with regarding the situation? What do we have? There's your Cancer, okay? You also have Leo and Aquarius, okay? Aquarius is also Mercury too, so um, could be Mercury Aquarius. Let's see who else lines up with that. It's just looking. Can't see anything else that's connected with that. So maybe Mercury Aquarius is specific to somebody. Okay. Let's see. Let's get some uh, information about this situation. Um, so Aries knows what's going on. Seems like you have a lot of key players, but let's see if you want to identify the people in the situation besides older woman and younger woman. Let's get forth from Kipper. Transmission may go out. So it could very well be an accident. You have 19 coffin. 19 breaks down to a 10. Tens are endings. Coffin can signify the ending of something, a closure, like closing a box, right? It could be a literal death of a person, place, situation, or thing. What else? Ooh, okay. There's your sentence. 29 breaks down to an 11. Imprisonment. Uh, maybe it might be just house imprisonment. And 15, 20, and lovers. 15 breaks down to a 6. 20 breaks down to a 2, which is also about connections between partnerships as well as choices and balance options. Okay. Sixes are all about a return to purpose and refocusing. Okay. And 11 is a manifestation, leveling up, something coming to fruition that had been put out to the universe energy wise. Okay. Let's clarify imprisonment and coffin. Okay, you have 38, also an 11. Toil and labor, working very hard at something. Thinking about it. I wonder if this is mental imprisonment. Mental health, possibly. Yes, okay. And an abundance of it. So you have 38, 11, 16, 7. 20 is like 8, okay? This could also be divine timing. I see that card as that as well. So this may be something that is ending the mental imprisonment. Maybe the sentence is over for someone, okay? All right. So it seems more general. And the people on board are already here for you, okay? Let's see. What do I want to clarify next? Clarify ambulance and old hoopty. That seems pretty big. <laughs> that worries me a little bit. Hope everyone's driving safe. You did have bottle, and I did see that. You know that could indicate alcoholism. So hopefully nobody's driving drunk, right? Or under the influence in general. Mushroom did pop up as well. That could be any kind of drug. So let's clarify ambulance and old hoopty. Okay, Ace of Cups, that's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gentlemen. Uh-huh. Definitely travels. Okay, so it might actually be an accident or traveling in some kind of emergency. Ten of Swords is uh, sort of feeling, you know, betrayed or mental anguish, right? Maybe they're not thinking straight when they're on their travels. One more. Oh. We're not thinking straight because, and this came up in the reverse too. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and read it that way. This is the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, feminine energy. She came up in the reverse though, so that's not a very nice person. 
Maybe they're all up in anguish over the situation. And you have the snake here. You know, vile is the serpent who lulls with a bite, being not indulgent or slow to the fight. Maybe somebody that's been very um, aggressive towards them. And maybe they've, and because the ship is going in the opposite direction, it could be that they've left the situation. But maybe they've had to leave the situation in a hurry and um, overcompensated. Boom. Joined. Interesting. Okay. But this is a person, the snake really talks about somebody that is just vile, vicious, vindictive, um, wears false masks, that sort of thing. Okay, so I'm going to leave that in a reverse. I'm really feeling that. Yeah, okay. So hopefully that will help identify who's who in this situation for you. Let's get you some guidance, Aries. Let's bring this into a positive note. Let's get you one from our new botanical inspiration. Maybe this is something you've been wishing is this situation to dissolve, right? <coughs> Snapdragon. Hold on, what's that say? Antherninium? <laughs> I can't read it. Graciousness and benevolence. Aesop says, no act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. So remember, just think simple niceness <laughs> simple acts right be the better person in the situation even in a small little ways okay let's get you yes be gentle <laughs> you might have to tread lightly with this situation especially with emotions on the rise right may become a liability all right Let's get you three shopper cards, please, and thank you. You have, hold on a second here, this is the third eye visualization, 28, breaks down to a 10 again. Okay, so visualize what you want that's in your highest good. This also talks about clairvoyance. Oh, and you have dreams. 26 breaks down to an 8. So you might actually get visions that'll kind of guide you where you need to go. Pay attention to those. Take note. One more. Your intuition is going to be all fleek. Nice. Number four, grounding. That's your earth star chakra. So keep your whole system uh, together and connect with Gaia. This is a nature card. So, um, Snakes are also about healing, and I'm seeing the roots kind of be all snake-like. Um, so this may be something you need to do to heal, and will help you cut and clear and be still as well. It's a good time of year to start being in nature. It's only raining here a little bit. It may cool off. It might get warmer. You might have to wear it layer up a little bit, but being outside would be really nice at this time. Hanging out with specifically earthy things, right? Maybe hugging some trees, same there, or at least just being with trees, right? Trees do kind of root you to your soul family, right? It's all about your ancestors. Cesium might be, I don't even know what that is, right? Is that an element? Be amongst the elements. Like the elemental table, right? For those that, you know, remember it from chemistry, <laughs> I think that's one of the elements. It's been a long time since I took chemistry. All right. Let's get you a soul lesson regarding this situation, please. What this could be about. This could be a test, too. Although I'm not really seeing test, per se. But it could just be reminder, right? Imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. Maybe there's something in this scenario that's going to inspire you for some creative or um, business or healing pursuit as well. And that's what spirit wants you to kind of visualize through this situation, sort of see it transparently, right? All right, let's get a few from the mermaids. Tell us more. I'm going to put this over here for now. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. Oh, 
Okay, definitely. There's your visualization, right? Being able to look and see through things. Forward thought, right? Thinking progressively. Effective communication is important. And this also suggests, too, you know how the mermaid here is talking to a turtle? You know, outside species, essentially. So you might have to go outside your environment, your immediate environment, to get help or get ideas, right? Um, to get new vision and purpose, parts of purpose, right? Maybe your whole life has been, or this situation has just been incarcerating, right? Because I just see the imprisonment and then the sentence there with family specifically. So maybe it's time to get some fresh energy into your life, right? From new people, new situations. One more. You do have joining forces, and you could be joining forces with somebody outside of the situation, right? Re-energize. Yes. Yes. Get your energy all nicely cleansed, okay? This is also a card of energy vampires, okay? So there may be just someone depleting energy in this situation, and getting away from that is a good idea, and then replenishing your energy, White did show up for purification as well, okay? All right, let's see what the masculine energy entails here for you. Anything else, Spirit? I'm getting close. Ooh, nice. Love him. All right. And the ladies for your feminine energy. All right. Oh, hello. Let's we'll talk about that creative imagination now, right? Okay. okay. I'm going to start with Aphrodite for you. All good, very good. You're both in the upright. Tells me you're on your way, you're high level, you're getting high frequency here, love for yourself, okay? Goddess of love Aphrodite teaches us to own our sexuality and be in touch with the material pleasures of the world. Think about what you've been passionate about and let that be a clue to reveal the answer you're looking for, especially if you're trying to put something together for yourself that's progressive, right? Talk about inspiration. And Nuwada, perfection. And he did come up in the upright. That's awesome. Love and appreciate your uniqueness and your imperfections, quote unquote imperfections. Question the cost of chasing perfection. Delight in who you are. Today, more than ever, we chase perfection. But what is it really? We often look to external perfection as necessary to success. John may be significant to somebody. Okay, just catching up. <laughs> um, the quest for youth and a perfect body has thrown us towards a predilection for injecting ourselves with face-numbing poisons and surgically enhancing features that we feel aren't ideal. When did the fact that we have healthy, strong, functional bodies become so not enough? They are. Okay, so maybe it's somebody in the external. This might identify them, okay? We are born with everything we need to be what it is we are meant to be. We are born perfectly imperfect. Our uniqueness is for a reason. Nawada reminds us that to be perfect at our job or purpose, we need not pursue some unattainable and false ideal. Perfection is a subjective judgment and not an objective reality. In Nawada's case, he was the best leader. His missing hand did not take away from his great leadership qualities. And for those who want to know what that is in reference to, okay? All right. He lost his hand during a battle, right? Um, and the law meant he couldn't keep his throne, right? That didn't stop him from being an amazing leader. His brother fashioned a magical silver hand to replace the one that he had lost. Not only functional, the silver hand was beautiful too. <laughs> so it's a win. <laughs> <coughs> 
but he still wasn't able to be. And then, because of the silver hand being beautiful, he regained his throne, right? So that's like the gist of that story for you. Okay. So all is not lost. All is well. Your guides are helping you, all right? Things that are seemingly imperfect are actually perfect, right? Because they're meant for just you, okay? So if you're driving around an old hoopty, that may be your silver hand, right? <laughs> Being silly. But yeah, that could mean something for somebody, right? Okay. All right, let's get you a couple Ascended Masters here. Since Ascended Masters are protecting with the fours. And you got 11s and 6s all over the place. You have Lady Mata, Heart Awakening, Awaken to Acceptance and Divine Love, Give and Receive in Balance, okay? Ooh. You also have Lord Ganesh as hell pops up. Oh, that's funny. Okay, Infinite Abundance. Obstacles are being removed. Spiritual support and connections are increasing. Let's get one more. Oh, we got two more. That would be good. We have Faith. Humanity and benevolence. Stay calm. Trust the good in yourself and others and see the light in the world. Okay. And Lord Shiva, transcendence. Rise up. Honor your inner force. Steps are being given and dance with the universe. Okay. That's what you do. <laughs> All right. Any final words, spirit, for Aries? Sun, moon, rising. Now I shuffle here for final guidance from the Beyond the Moriad. I should probably get the book. Pump. Pump the brakes? Pump what? Pump up the volume? <laughs> Pump up the jam? <laughs> Pump your sneakers? What? should be good. All right, let's get one. Sun, moon, rising, Aries, please. All right, beautiful, love it. Yeah, number 16 breaks down to a seven. All about luck, all right? Loving compassion. This is also a number of divine timing as well. It also suggests hermit mode a little bit too, okay? Um, there may be some need to release any fears and you might need to go within for that. I do see that with no one falls in love faster than an inmate and sits still, okay? You cut and clear within the next 24 hours, okay? Where are we? Loving compassion. Unconditional love, empathy, compassion, care, friendliness, goodwill, benevolence, beyond duality, safe space, forgiveness through expanded perspectives, and open-hearted joy. Give me a second. <clears throat> There's definitely some communication issues. That was a throat tickle. Throat chakra might be blocked. Nothing a little lemon tea can't fix. <laughs> so that can mean something for you, all right? Loving kindness is one of the greatest forces available to us on earth. It has the ability to transform all. Unconditional love is the vibration most closely aligned with God or the divine. When we allow ourselves to drop deep into heart space, we feel interconnected and in a state of oneness. As we choose to direct our lives with love, all that is not real or serving us will drop away. Your energy vampire energy here. Conflicts resolve, power struggles dissolve, and a sense of inner peace and comfort will radiate from within. Love is the root of happiness. When we can fluidly give and receive with the ease of breathing in and out, we can fly freely. Okay. Loving compassion is a fundamental element in the balance of life. It holds the seeds of the new paradigm of evolution. When doing hands-on healing, and that may be an indicator of something you can do at this time if you something that's hands-on and healing for you. So like massage or, you know, even Reiki is through hands. 
Okay. So, and even creative, maybe painting or something, right? Okay. Writing, right? This is the force we call on. It is a life force energy or God essence, and it brings healing, vitality, and transformation to everything it touches. When we manifest or affirm something into the world from a place of love, the reasoning imbued in the statement will reflect our intent. If we manifest from fear, our journey will bring all the learning needed to gear us back into love. Unconditional love transcends duality. It sees beyond reasoning and situation to allow new stories to be told and for new beginnings to emerge. It transmutes all that is out of balance back to zero point and bridges heaven and earth. This card invites you to bring more loving to the situation at hand, whether it is towards yourself or someone connected to the question. It may imply a need for forgiveness or for seeing things from a fresh, more expansive perspective. This card is a reminder that you are loved and have infinite access to the gentle yet powerful force of loving compassion as and when you need it. To bring yourself back into your heart, think about those you love and moments with them where you have felt joy. Expand this feeling out to more and more people, creatures, and places, okay? Animals might be helpful at this time. <laughs> they are creatures. <laughs> Until the whole planet is infused with this beautiful, warm, and loving feeling. Nature, natural, okay, all right. So yes, definitely. More nature too. You did have the grounding card, the Earth Star Chakra, all right? It could just be all-encompassing baby cry. Mm. Including humans, but I'm also like, I immediately heard a kitten's mew with that too. So it could be young animals, all right? Hopefully that helps Aries, dominant. <laughs> Take charge, right? Um, whatever's dominant you're thinking about right now, maybe what you need to do, okay? So hopefully that helps. Follow your other placements, okay? Bye!